Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and as you guys might know, I'm actually at the 30 Day Survival Challenge with my buddy Zachary Fowler, History's Channel winner of Season 3 of Alone. But today, we're going to leave you with an awesome episode, which is going to be my mini survival challenge. Stick with me. everybody and thank you for sticking with me so the platform my mini survival kit is based around is actually the anemone by max Expedition. now there is a new more compact variant of this particular setup it is called the barnacle the exact same pouch except for the front pouch itself is a little bit different so we're going to show you that alternative as well in this video so stick around for that but we're going to go ahead and break down this kit piece by piece and show you how much awesome we stuffed inside so as we dive into the outside of the kit I've got two Blade Tech clips. Now, currently on Amazon, they are actually out of stock, but I'll have some alternatives down in the video description so you guys can check those out. These are my favorite because of their slim profile connecting to your packs that are Molly compatible or to a thin web belt loop. Anything like that is gonna be really nice. Now, we actually replaced the zipper pulls with uh, some zip ties and some tender zips from Exotech. Now, we wanted these for extra fire starting capability, but if we ever have to use these up in an emergency, we still have the zip ties to actually unzip our pouch very effectively. Now on these two, these are two pin holders, but I decided to take my little flashlight in here. This is a AAA battery flashlight by Lumen Top. This is really, really bright. It's about 80 to 100 lumens a night. It's gonna be plenty to take care of your needs for an emergency. Illumination is one of your most powerful self-defense tools out in the wild, being able to see where you're going. And then we have a little diamond sharpener from Smith's. We got this at Shields when we were in Utah. This thing is freaking amazing, but you can find these on Amazon pretty much anywhere. These are great because of the simplicity of their form factor. They have a tapering for serrations. If you need to get some fish hooks, they have that little slot in there to sharpen the fish hook up. They have a flat spot for more of your fine edge detail work if you need it. So the fact that you have a nice little sharpener built into the system that I can put right here, the size of a pen, it's kind of awesome. So the one thing that stuck out to me about the anemone from Maxpedition, now keep in mind, this is a discontinued pouch. But like I said, the Barnacle is a very, very similar build. So you'll be able to get a really fun platform out of that. I wanted to make sure that I had a really good multi-tool. This is actually the Leatherman Surge. Gives me a full serrated knife. I've got a folding saw in here, the pliers, wire cutters, fine edge knife. And then we also have a nice full size set of scissors built in. As far as compactability and tools and a full size package without sacrificing performance, that's my bet. Now you can put any multi-tool you want in there, but we just picked this one because we just love the 21 tools they offer in that rig. Now I need to boil water in an emergency. These are these little mini meatloaf pans. You can get these in a five pack for 88 cents at Walmart. These are amazing. You can boil water in here, use the, the ashes of a fire. And what I would suggest you do is once you get your embers and your ashes and your coals from the fire, you take a little bit of sand or dirt and put a very thin layer over the coal so you don't burn through this pot set it on there and the residual heat still seeping through will definitely get you a boil without burning through this in the first night. So just on the outside of the pouch, you guys can see we have a lot of useful goodies built inside, but we're actually gonna deep into the nuggets. Look at that, that's amazing. You are going, Chris, you are a mad scientist. You can pack better than my wife for their Disney trips. And yes, yes I can. I actually gave her a class two weeks ago and she still hasn't figured it out yet. So the contents that are right here are this back little flap right here. There's a little pouch inside where I cut my fire tender. And then there was this first little pouch. Now a lot of this is gonna be fire and rescue based essentially. So this first little bit is the ultimate fire tender from Production Air 51. And then I have six Spartan fire strips in here. They're all formerly known as sear strips and sear strips, but they are now formerly known as Spartan fire. So the fact that I can hold a lot of fires in here. Now one strip, one strip of this uh, Spartan fire can give you 30 fires. I want you guys to be very well aware of that. So the 30 times six, it gives me 180 fires. Then I'll be able to get easily a six to eight fires out of this ultimate fire tender. This is amazing. Now we have my little peanut lighter from True Utility. I love this bad boy. There we go. So you can see the flame, it's wanting to blow out because of the wind, but the O-ring seal keeps it from the fuel to leaking out. And I've actually been doing a fuel test with this for over a year now, where that same fuel is over a year old and it's still good to go. So that lets me know that if I need to use it for preps, I'm pretty much covered. Now, 
we've got the Leatherman Skeletool. It's a dedicated knife that I can use full time as an edge tool to save this one if I, unless I need it. But this will give me a dedicated knife to do any types of processing, things like that. It's just good to have a little bit of redundancy and the fact this weighs less than two ounces for 25 bucks, it's good to have. Plus you have your apocalypse bottle opener that every ding dong a company decides to put on all their gear. Then we've got the Exotac Nano Striker XL. This thing is absolutely phenomenal because it has O-ring seals to weather protect your fire steels because fire steels will corrode in humidity, salt, ocean air, rain, the elements will corrode them. So being able to keep them protected is a key must have. So that's why I always have a few one of these because if it's something that else corrodes, I'm good to go. This is my fiber light emergency whistle that also has an emergency backup fire steel attached to it. I know you guys see a lot of fire, but this is a lot of fire that I can put in the palm of my hand and it gives me multiple redundancies in one spot. Now we're gonna be moving over to this middle pouch right here and show you what we've got stuffed inside. And we got a lot of goodies to go over. Oh yeah. So the first things first is we've got two AAA batteries for my flashlight because if I find myself in an extended emergency, this would be a really good thing to pop in a saddlebag onto your hip when you're on the trail out in the woods. It's a really good backup kit because this kit right here literally weighs 13 ounces with all the stuff we put inside and it's extremely useful. We have 10 feet of Gorilla Tape. This is that three quarter inch wide. You can find these at Walmart. They sell them for like $2.74. You can get a whole huge roll of it. It's pretty fantastic. And then we have 25 feet of Technora, AKA Kevlar thread. I got this in my adventure kit and EDC kit from Wazoo Survival Gear. It has 450 pound test line thread. This is super, super strong stuff. Then for um, an extra cordage for thinner things like sewing or anything like that, you, this is braided fishing line. Now I know that there is no fishing kit built inside here, but having extra cordage if I need it to uh, lasso or fashion any types of tools or medical devices like splints or crutches that I find myself in an emergency, I've got that available without using the heavy duty stuff. Then in, it, uh, in addition to my whistle, I have the micro star flash signal mirror. This also came from my cash belt from Wazoo Survival Gear. Pretty amazing. I'm sure you guys can see the flittering of my camera inside. Then as we move forward, no kit would be complete without a rescue blanket. This is the Dynorex. You can find these on Amazon. Here is their lot number right here. It's 33154. I like these because these are full size survival blankets, but these are the most compact ones you can find. A lot of the other ones are super big, super fat and bulky, a little annoying. But then we have my kind of water purification, boiling bag, and we also have my first aid kit. This is a fully DIY first aid kit. I'm, I mean, this whole kit's DIY. But right in here, I also got this bag from Go Prepared Survival and AKA Wazoo. So we have some Catadyne water purification tablets, two Ranger bands. Right in here is a one liter water bag that is from the cash belt and survival kits from Wazoo Survival Gear. This is fantastic the amount of water you can hold in this little tiny bag and how small it folds down. Then from Go Prepare Survival, we have Chloroflock water purification powder. So I'll be able to get a lot of water boiling. I'll be able to have four to five liters, which gives me several days without having a water filter. Sadly, I don't have a water filter small enough, but hopefully if you have a good everyday carry, you'll have something like the Hydro Blue Sidekick, which is a nice pen style filter you can keep with you on your everyday carry. Hopefully this is not the absolute only thing you have, but this is a really good kit to see you through short term. Now, inside the first aid kit right here, we've got some media light, which is electrolytes. We have aspirin for pain relief. We've got some acetaminophen, some lip guard. This is um, soothing lip ointment. We have sunburn protection, triple antibiotic ointment, and several bandages. And then we've got sting relief. So this little ouchy boo-boo kit is chock full of things that you may or may not need. Uh, the only thing I would suggest adding to this is something we're probably gonna put in there is Diorex. So if we drink any bad water while we're in an emergency, hopefully we are uh, the, the water purification tablets and the powder are gonna clean that up, but it'll help prevent diarrhea. Becoming severely dehydrated through diarrhea could be deadly out in an emergency. So all in all, this is the full contents of my kit. Now I showed you the internals. We have a back pocket pouch right in here. We have the main section of the pouch and we have kind of a felt layer. So if you can keep some things protected and then we have this nice front loadout. Now I wish Maxpedition would not have stopped producing the anemone. I love it, 
but the alternative is the barnacle this is really budget friendly really good pouch but you see the internals are the exact same they have that felt like pouch they have that front pouch right in here and these are just some extra alternative items you can stick in here we've got the nano spark from exotac we've got the s1 baton mini by olight would definitely fit in here very nicely and then we have some awesome little zipper pull tools like sporks and other things like that from Grim Workshop. Grim Workshop makes some of the most awesome tool cards on the market. Between them and Wazoo Survival Gear being USA made tools for survival that can fit in micro cases or in your everyday carry, they're just absolutely fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular episode while we're out on our 30-day survival challenge. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're like, Chris, what 30-day survival challenge are you talking about, you weirdo? Definitely go up in the right-hand corner of the screen and go check out that particular episode where we give our announcement. And we also allowed our viewers before we actually went on our adventure to pick what survival gear we could bring from our knives and everything else like that. Hopefully, in my subscription feed, if you guys subscribe, you'll be able to see the live stream where we're going to be giving you in-depth looks at all of the awesome stuff we're going to be doing while we're out there. However, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the barnacle in the Maxpedition Micro Survival Kit. This is a 65 piece survival kit that anybody can build on their own, put any variety of tools. And I wanna hear from you guys as well. I wanna know exactly what you would put in your particular kit, whether it's just like mine or completely different and you think I'm just ass hat crazy and I don't belong in the survival world. Well, we're gonna find out on the 30 day challenge, won't we? So you need to watch that and stay tuned and see how much I succeed or fail. But that just about us for now. If you enjoyed this episode, the overview and the introduction and showcase of my 65 piece micro survival kit if so this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing thriving and making awesome videos for you guys but that's just the best for now hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day i'm out